Pittman, his best-selling book, Oh, Florida. Tampa Bay Times reporter Craig Pittman chronicled a whole lot of Florida crazy. Uh, well, guess what? The weird just keeps coming. That's Here's right. Craig to update us on the surreal. <laughs> Craig, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah. How's it going? You are the uh, the minister of, of weird in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full-time job, isn't it? It is. It is. It's like drinking from a fire hose, man. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> I know. When it's 2017, we already got weird stories, but yes. we're going to look back at 2016. What were the most bizarre what were some of the ones that stood out to you um, the, I know it's a hard question it is it is uh, the the uh, the one that everybody really talked about for a long time was the guy in Loxahatchee who as a prank picked up a three-foot alligator and threw it through the drive through window at a Wendy's <laughs> and uh, wound up being charged with a, a number of things one of which was assault with a deadly weapon where the gator was the deadly weapon yeah Makes so, sense. I, I get yes. it yeah um, that's a uh, from an action movie like something like Schwarzenegger would do yeah exactly you know, here's my deadly I weapon know. That's right. it's real Say hello to my little friend <laughs> <laughs> all right so alligators alligators well we had a lot of animal related yeah. stories we had you know red-shouldered hawks that were attacking retirees in Spring Hill. We had uh, squirrels <laughs> that invaded a uh, senior center in, uh, I think, Delray, and they were biting people all over the place. Um, the birds, they can make a movie out of that too. Yes, exactly. Um, uh, people were not kind to animals. Uh, we had a guy down in Marathon who jumped on the back of a manatee and was riding around oh, why yelling, I'm saying? riding it, I'm riding it. Well, of course, that's how you treat an endangered species, oh, right? Did they post God. that on social media too? Oh, yeah. Or some, and oh, yeah. Well, there was that woman, uh, she rode a manatee too a few years ago, right? Yeah, we're here in St. Pete Beach. Of course, that was in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, there, there's a lot of a lot of animal-related action. Uh, speaking of the gator mm -hmm. being a, a, a weapon, a lot of weird weaponry type stories. Uh, the uh, uh, guy who attacked his boyfriend with some ramen noodles. Um, the uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How, <laughs> yeah, how did, do you do that? Are they cooked or uncooked? <laughs> I, see, it wasn't clear from the story, but I kept thinking about the old Dear Abby thing about you know forty lashes with a wet noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got some of the microwave though? It's like the hot pockets. Yeah. Those can get be, hot. It could be. It could be, get that, there could hot, be a burning could be issue. Dangerous. That's yes. a deadly weapon yes. too, like hot pockets. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then there was the elderly gentleman who got mad at a tow truck driver and hit him over the head with his uh, oxygen tank. So, <laughs> well, okay. So here's the deal, because you wrote a book about this too, of yes, Florida. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Is, have we found an answer yet? on why Florida? Why is this place just a breeding ground for oh, crazy? Sure. sure. Well, there are several reasons. The big one is our population. We are now the third most populous state in the nation. Okay. So we've got, you know, uh, 20 million people living here and they've come from all over the world and speak lots of different languages. And then we have about 100 million tourists coming in every year also. So you layer all of those people on top of each other, speaking different languages, coming from different cultures, driving a lot of different ways, and they're bound to start ramming into each other's cars and so, chasing each other with machetes. So we're not just crazy from the heat. No, that's, that's certainly part of it, that we're out in the sun doing weird stuff all year long. We're not cooped up inside oh. three months because of snow. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we actually do, they said, do sell more machetes in Florida than anywhere else. I found that out from a machete distributor. Oh my so there are a lot of those factors that, that, that play, come into play. Is there, there like an ultimate theorem of Florida crazy story? Like it's nudity plus animal <laughs> equals jail time? Like, how, why is everyone naked? That's got to be the Well, heat. I think the heat plays a role in that as well. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we had a lot of, a lot of nakedness in, in Florida last year uh, where uh, the woman who decided to celebrate Thanksgiving by climbing on top of a, a fountain naked. Um, what, with the, the turkey? Yeah, uh, no turkey was involved. It was just... Was she dressed just, like pilgrim just, headwear? No, no, no. She didn't even do the friends thing when she had the turkey on her head. <laughs> That's um, right. uh, and then the, the school administrator who was running along the side of the road naked yelling, I like grass! Uh, <laughs> So. All right, <laughs> I, like I, I don't stars. even know where to begin. I know we got to <laughs> wrap up here. 2017, though, I mean, I, we hate to say it, but I'm sure it's going to be no shortage. Oh, probably not. Probably not. I mean, because I figure the more people we squeeze in here, yeah. the crazier it's going to get. Yeah, you got a lot more books coming out. There's so much <laughs> crazy, right? Somebody said we'll I should write a 26-volume encyclopedia. Yeah. Encyclopedia. Yeah. That's <laughs> great. That's awesome. Craig, thank you so much. Hey, we love when you are best. here. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. All right, something else.